Hello again, my friends. This is gonna be a really quick review of the new silicone cover from VR Cover for the Oculus Quest. Uh, for full disclosure, they did send this to me for free to keep, so that's the arrangement I had with them. The silicone cover goes over the original foam, and so if we remove it like so, there's the original Oculus Quest foam. The silicone cover just goes right on top. It's pretty easy to put on. Of course, now that I say that, I'll be fumbling Butterfingers over there, and then the other side, and then cinch it at the nose piece. There. <laughs> It's, uh, everything's easier when you're not on camera, I think. But yeah, it's easy to come on and off. And I was fascinated to try this because this uh, silicone is a new kind of VR cover from VR Cover. I'm a huge fan of their cotton covers and their faux leather covers to be alternatives for your VR headset. And so this is a new kind of product from them. It feels soft and it feels rubbery like you would expect, like um, almost like a scuba material. That's how it feels, but it is soft and comfortable. The best thing about this is that there's a nose light blocker right here. And for the Quest, this is much needed. The Oculus Quest has probably the biggest nose light leak that I've experienced. And this blocker really does a good job wearing this it's a total seal, and it's the most immersive I felt in the Quest as far as light leak goes. Speaking of a seal, because of this silicone texture, it just feels incredibly well sealed off, and it sticks to your face in a good way. Using this cover makes the whole headset feel more secure because it just feels nice and uh, stuck on your face wearing this. So overall, I think it's a good cover. There is one downside, and that is it is completely waterproof. And so if you're going to be sweating a lot, this isn't going to absorb moisture like the default foam would. For example, uh, my go-to quarantine workout is Dance Central on the Oculus Quest. And doing that, I need to use uh, some kind of a default foam or cotton cover because I get really sweaty doing that. I mean, I feel great doing it, but I get kind of drenched <laughs> after an hour of dancing. And this is not gonna work for me in that scenario because this doesn't absorb moisture at all. And so all the water is either gonna go into the headset or drip down your face. So when it comes to rigorous workouts, I prefer a foam or cotton cover that will absorb sweat. But I do think this shines with casual relaxed play or productivity. Like my favorite way to use this is if I'm using virtual desktop on the Oculus Quest to work on my PC, then I love using this because like I said before, it's a total uh, light seal off and it feels nice and secure. But if I'm just sitting using virtual desktop on the PC, I'm not working up a sweat. And so it's not a problem that there's no water absorption. So I feel like it's a good cover and it feels nice and I like the seal and I like the light leak block. For a rigorous workout, I would not recommend this, but for casual relaxed play, I would recommend this. So uh, this has been a quickie review of the VR cover, silicone cover for the Oculus Quest. On their website, it retails for 14 bucks. And there you go, those are my thoughts on it. Thank you for joining me, we'll catch you later. See ya, bye. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya.